Just got paid on YouTube and I'm about to quit my job right now. Just kidding. That's, that's not the reality whatsoever. I'm not quitting my job. If you guys want to listen up about the reality of getting a YouTube paycheck, please stay tuned for the rest of the video. Thank you. Hi guys, what is up? It's your girl Vanessa here. And as you can tell from the video title, and tell you guys that yes, I did get my first YouTube paycheck. It was extremely exciting. I received an email today from YouTube or AKA Google AdSense letting me know that I should check my account because they did process a payment for me to get paid for my videos on YouTube. One thing I wanted to say guys, it's not the kind of paycheck where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna quit my job right now today or anything like that. So I wanted to come and explain to everybody how pretty much I got paid and how everything is going. To be honest, when I first started out doing YouTube, and yes, I do monetize my videos, and the main reason as to why I am monetizing my videos is simply because I put in a ton of work in my videos, and I work very hard in my videos, and I, you know, unfortunately, I'm not at, made out of money. My career is in the field of education, so if anyone out there is a teacher or a counselor or whatever, you understand that people in education are completely underpaid for some of the work that they do. So it isn't in my benefit to not monetize my videos only because I would love to just, whatever I make from YouTube, obviously put it back into the channel and also give back to you guys. This paycheck is not enough for me to go out and just be like, oh, I'm gonna quit my job tomorrow. No, it, that is not the case whatsoever. I am not quitting my job. Um, and so that's that's one thing that I feel like a lot of small YouTube YouTubers or people who watch YouTube or people who, who know or see other YouTubers, bigger YouTubers, they have this really negative conception about YouTubers and how much YouTubers are getting paid and all this stuff and people think it's not a real job, all the et cetera, et cetera. Number one, I put in a ton of work. A ton of hours, okay, in, in my already 12 hour days, I already put tons of hours filming, producing, editing, the works. It takes a lot of time to do these videos. So that's one thing guys, is that I may film a video for maybe, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long, but then it takes me like three to four hours, maybe five, maybe six, maybe a few days to actually sit down and edit the video and make it perfect because one thing I am is a huge perfectionist. The one thing I want to uh, pretty much tell you guys is that these YouTubers, especially in the fitness community, are not making the majority of their money off of just YouTube revenue and ad revenue. So think about it this way guys, pretty much one dollar is every 1,000 views okay and that's just on average I'm not saying that every 1,000 views is exactly a dollar but for the most part and it all depends on you, you know the type of youtuber the type of ads that are being ran on your videos and all that it's very very complicated but I've been kind of getting a gist of things as I am looking through my analytics and just understanding ad revenue and just, uh, you know just reading and and talking to other youtubers for me at least Every 1,000 views pretty much estimated to a dollar or averaged out to a dollar. So understand that YouTubers are not making boatloads of money off of just views. Um, views are definitely a part, but I feel like especially in the fitness community, you don't see a lot of YouTubers who have 1 million subscribers or more than a million subscribers in the fitness community. It is a very small fitness community here on YouTube that actually has you know, a following. There are tons of people out there that maybe have like 100,000 or you know in that range but there are very very few YouTubers who have hit the 1 million subscriber mark and it, it's plain and simple it is just because Fitness on YouTube is a very small market. I mean, it's just to be honest, I've been noticing it. It's not as big as gaming. It's not as big as beauty. It's not as big as like do it yourself or how to or style or fashion or news or comedy videos. And so if for instance, PewDiePie or Peppa the Pig, 
Those things have nothing to do with fitness. PewDiePie is in gaming, but he's also a mix of comedy. And he's making, yes, he's making a ton of money off of YouTube because his videos alone make over a million views. And so if you do the math, you can see that each of his videos generates him a certain amount of money. But he's been on YouTube for years. He's been on YouTube before it was even monetizable. He's been on YouTube before it was even a thing. So to be honest, for all those people out there who are doing YouTube specifically because they think it's gonna make them rich, unfortunately, it isn't. It isn't gonna make you rich anytime soon. And People don't get it. They don't hear it. They Other YouTubers are telling them, you're not going to get rich. You're not going to, like, don't do this for the money. Because it's the truth, guys. Like, from experience as a smaller YouTuber, it is very, very hard to, one, get views, and two, generate income from just ad revenue alone. Now, I personally, from what I've seen and just through looking at people and looking at how other people are doing things, especially in the fitness community, a ton of people are making the bulk of their money through sponsorships or endorsements or sponsored videos, etc., etc., or online coaching or training or affiliate codes, you know, all that stuff. They're not making the majority of their money through views. They may get a, a little paycheck at, at the end of the month from YouTube for a certain amount of money, but the bulk of their money is most likely not coming from YouTube. That's just the reality. I've been doing videos and I've been posting up videos for about seven to eight months now, and it took me that long to hit the threshold um, the minimum threshold in order to receive a YouTube paycheck. So trust me guys, if you're in it to get rich, you're in it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, what YouTube is helping me make the channel better. With equipment and things like that, uh, paying like electricity bills and, and internet bills because those are the things that you need in order to upload videos because duh, if you don't have your lights on, where are you gonna upload a video? Starbucks? Or a coffee house? So <laughs> understand that that's pretty much where my paycheck went to. It paid for my Pepco bill or my electricity bill in whatever state or country you guys are in. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If you do have questions as a smaller YouTuber, um, just leave them in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, guys, please don't forget to like the video if it was helpful for you. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.